Now, there could be uh, some other big name relievers that are out on the market. This has been bandied about in a number of areas. John Morosi writing about this recently as well, where you could have elite relief pitchers who could be traded. We'll start with Devin Williams of the Milwaukee Brewers. He's if he's not number one, he's top three in the entire game. Dan, do you think the Brewers would be willing, be willing to shop him? I do, because I think the Brewers may be in a little cost cutting mode going into this offseason. Don't be surprised, Brian, that the Cubs really aren't in this market. A guy that managed him before Craig Council knows what this guy can do. Forget about that home run he gave up to Pete Alonso in game five to get to have the, the Mets move on. Quality reliever spent a lot of time getting himself ready. Didn't really get active until almost August. He's a really good pitcher and he would fit any team's bullpen. He's a high leverage guy. He can handle the ninth inning. He'd help the Cubs. So he, he's a superstar really. I mean and the, the Brewers did fine without him for most of the season. They can mix and match. They can replace people like that but again for another team he's going to be an impact player another guy that could be available if the Cardinals don't think and there's only one year left of club control there before he hits the market if the Cardinals don't think they're going to be competing then Ryan Helsley could be out there Helsley has stupendous numbers last year 79 strikeouts in 66 innings a 2.04 ERA I know leverage wise he was about the best guy in all of baseball last year 49 saves last year. Look at that, 49 for 53. If you're asking me where would he be a good fit, I'm going to go right to the Philadelphia Phillies. We saw what happened with that bullpen. It was really good towards the end of the season. It fell apart in that series against the Mets. The ninth inning has been a problem for the Phillies in the month of October. The last couple of years had a powerhouse year last year. Throws hard, maintains high velo. He was thrown in the upper 90s near 100 in April. Thrown the same way towards the end of the year. He'd be a great fit for the Phillies. He's done it for a, a couple of years. I thought the by the way, I thought the Phillies had finally figured that out. You and me they, both. They, were, <laughs> they were pretty deep. That everybody, you, you can't possibly have enough. Even what we saw with the Dodgers and the Yankees in the World Series, like you've got to have it so backed up to the fifth or the fourth inning. Meantime. Kyle Kyle Finnegan could be available as well. He's with the Nats. Nats are getting better and better, but again, they've got to mix and match and go toward the future. Finnegan could be available. Dan, he's not quite at the elite level of Williams or Helsley, but he is a quality arm. Well, I tell you what, he would really be a good bookend for a bullpen like the Houston Astros, right? They have Hader that secures that ninth inning. They may be looking for a guy that can get some high leverage outs in the seventh or the eighth inning. I think Finnegan would be a great fit for a team like the Houston Astros. Uh, again, these top relievers are out that you can't have enough of these guys. You do have to make a choice, though. Again, the Brewers will be competing. The Cardinals, I'm not used to them not competing. Do you know what I mean? This to, is I, 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 let's trade them and, and try to get somebody else. Like, they've been competing for so long. I, 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 I think they have difficulty even stepping back, even in the final year of John Mazalak. I, I think you kind of feel like I do. Th this offseason feels to me like there's going to be some restructuring with the Cardinals. We've heard that Nolan mm -hmm. Arenado may possibly on the, on the move. Paul Goldschmidt is a free agent. I don't anticipate he'll be back in St. Louis. So I think the Cardinals are going to try to build for the future. And if that's the case, uh, don't be surprised.